So if you saw my video on H2O Delirious, you either thought one of two things. One, I support Ownwrecker and support every decision he has ever decided to make in his entire life. Or two, I just completely love H2O Delirious. Because judging how my last video was received, people didn't seem to understand that I was doing more of a retrospective than an, an opinion piece. Now, to be honest, there were a few people that got that. Not a lot, but a fair few, with the one comment I'm probably showing on screen. I've been wanting to talk about Ownwrecker a lot in the past. In fact, the last time I did was in July of 2021, and a lot has happened since then. So without further ado, I would like to present you how Ownwrecker ruined his career. Ownwrecker, or Ryan, is an American YouTuber known for his multiplayer gaming videos. When he uploads his gaming content, he's usually collaborating with other Let's Play channels. Ownwrecker created his channel on July 12th, 2006. His first gaming video was uploaded on August 21st, 2006, and his YouTube career went full-time starting in 2012 when he became a verified partner, which is something that wasn't easy to achieve back in the day, especially for gaming content creators. As of 2006, Ownwrecker plays multiplayer games such as Dead by Daylight, Rainbow Six, and of course, Gary's Mod. It has been put out there that Ownwrecker never had the easiest of childhoods growing up. He had to face his parents splitting up and both getting with people who didn't want to deal with kids, which caused him to move out while he was a teenager in Chicago, which put him on the streets. Though he continued to attend high school for a short while, the stress of being homeless eventually led up to him dropping out. After getting back on his feet, Ownwrecker managed to get into a college with a high school equivalency and graduated college in 2013 with high honours a degree in business administration. He has previously stated that he has a rare condition called visual snow, which caused television-like static to appear in his vision. He had a pet dog named Buddy, who had been around for at least 10 years. Buddy unfortunately passed away on September 2nd, 2018. He adopted a new Jack Russell Terrier later that year named Tiny. Going back to him playing Gmod, he adopted a character that wore a white bunny costume with a huge head. It is the character that all of you will associate him with. Back in the day, PewDiePie would give smaller channels a spotlight and a chance to grow on the site. He did it with Jacksepticeye and RPG Minx when they played Assassin's Creed and Gary's Mod. Ohm was previously close to Jacksepticeye until they grew apart and focused on their own methods of gameplay, and as a result of Jack's busier schedule, he then later began to play with a popular crew of YouTubers consisting Vanos Gaming, H2O Delirious, and I Am Wildcat. Although he still frequently plays with players who are not commonly seen among the crew, have significantly raised his view count on his videos, to the point where he uploaded a video thank his subscribers for getting over 1 million subscribers on September 15th, 2016. On September 20th, 2013, PewDiePie made a shout out video featuring Ownwrecker with eight other YouTubers. Ownwrecker was the first person shouted out before anyone else was. Ownwrecker had 31,000 subscribers, and with this shout out, PewDiePie was able to bump him up to 40,000 subscribers in just a few days. First shout out, Ownwrecker. Really cool guy. I, I actually spoke to him a little bit. Super nice. He has a nice channel. There's some videos of me in here somewhere, so... That in addition to that video, Jacksepticeye was also featured in that shout-out, which is what led him to the career he has today. Stop on the modern fucking... I don't even know. This guy seems crazy. I really like whatever it is he's doing. <laughs> he seemed really funny. His name is Jacksepticeye. Eye. Bryce Games was another gaming content creator that would join along with the group of people Ownwrecker was associating with, and there always seemed to be this some sort of tension between the two. Bryce Games posted a video in 2017 going over his health journey and how he has accomplished gaining a six pack within six months. The same day this video was posted, Ownwrecker decided to unironically cope on Twitter by posting this. You do not need a six pack to be healthy. Just want you guys to know that. The pursuit of a six pack is usually about vanity, not health. This also caused Ownwrecker to block Bryce on Twitter, further adding to the man's pure saltiness of the drama. But in 2020, the two hashed out their differences and began playing with each other again. On the 24th of May 2021, after his own dispute with Ownwrecker, Delirious revealed on Twitter why he and Cartoons stopped playing with Bryce, following Ohm's argument with Bryce. The reason Bryce stopped playing with us is because Ohm got jealous of him and said he only liked me for my views and that Bryce wasn't a friend, and then kicked Bryce out. Looking back on this drama, it definitely shows how petty Ohm can be in a silly situation, although it isn't well known why he was exactly so salty about Bryce to this day, it isn't unreasonable to speculate that it was all down to jealousy. Ownwrecker tweeted out a poll about spacing out his videos, or yeah. releasing a bunch of videos at once. Due to his dog unfortunately being put down, he wasn't able to upload as much. Cartoons jokingly replied with, what a wonderful unique idea, as he released a bunch of videos in one day. Ownwrecker responded to Cartoons with, you've got time to be sassy, but not once have you checked in to see how I'm doing, despite being one of the first people I told. Cool buddy. Hey, keep thinking you invented the single player upload on YouTube cartoons 
cartoons. Cartoons never actually responded to this tweet. And I have to say, cartoons was kind of a dick in this situation due to it being an obvious sensitive situation for Ohm Wrecker. So I wouldn't say Ohm's reaction here was an overreaction. He just let his emotions get the better of him, which in this situation is very understandable. Ohm Wrecker posted a tweet stating, these guys will come at me like this on my birthday. Even Terrorize is sitting there talking shit about the Pope for not addressing the abuses in the church. But they won't say a word about Louis or Minnie's accusations. Nope. This caused Terrorizer to bad talk Ohm on his stream, completely missing the point. He took it as Ohm saying that he knew about Mini Lad being a predator behind the scenes before the actual allegations came out. Here's, here's the thing uh, Ohm did that was just like to the point where I was like, right, okay, man. He started saying with the whole Craig thing, he started saying like he was trying, he didn't at me because he's blocked me on Twitter. He's blocked me on Twitter. That's just, these are just the facts. I don't know what he's doing on Twitter. He's blocked me, okay? Uh, he, what did he do? He fucking said I, he was insinuating that I must have had no knowledge of these, the things that are happening with Craig. That surely Brian knew about it. Like, what the fuck? What a fucking slanderous thing to say on the internet. Supposedly, these two hashed out their privacy behind the scenes and all became good in the end. But it does show how Terrorizer isn't the most reasonable man on the planet. I don't want to say this was out of spite. I just have a funny feeling this was just more misdirected anger, since it doesn't actually make a lot of sense for Terrorizer to be angry at Omrecker. Here is where we get into the meat and potatoes of this video. Omrecker started to think that Delirious was a toxic man to play with. If you remember in my last video where I talk about this, I show that Omrecker showed a clip of H2O Delirious saying the F slur in a game of Dead by daylight. Realistically, looking back on it, saying a slow with a group of friends behind the scenes of playing a game isn't the most drastic thing on the planet. It was definitely made out to be worse than what it was. In March 2021, Ohm blocked Delirious on Twitter and cut off all contact and deals with him after learning that in 2013, Delirious had been in a situation where he was involved in sharing of child porn. In that time, Ohm Brecker did research into the allegations and even got in contact with a victim who had first-hand knowledge of the incident, as well as their own experience with Delirious. May 23rd, 2021, Ohm Brecker was a guest on Drama Alert, where he alleged that Vanos crew members used to share pictures of underage girls with each other. This information was received via an audio recording of Louis Caliber, admitting to sharing of pictures of girls in private Discord and Skype calls. Omrecker spoke about H2O Delirious being set up by his friends in 2013. This led to some of his audio getting leaked. Omrecker further alleged that the girl who H2O Delirious was talking to was a minor and a group of members knew it too. Following the video, several people questioned the factuality of Omrecker's information. Omrecker went onto Twitter and claimed that he is screenshots to prove this, and that Keemstar has let stuff out of the video from their interview. H2O Delirious addressed the allegations about him talking to an underage girl. I do want to address one thing that has been said and has been completely misrepresented. It's something I have for many years been embarrassed about and destroyed my trust for years. I never wanted to have to talk about this. I still don't, but it's being forced on me. Nine years ago, two people thought it'd be funny to do something really messed up as a form of hazing me. It's no secret I was easily excited and very crude when I was in my early 20s. Someone I had played with a few times on prior on Xbox messaged me saying they were only wearing a towel. This caught my attention and interest. I mean, still after reading this, H2O Delirious man, come on, you need to go outside a bit more. I mean, I know you're in a relationship now with some girl that, you know, streams. Maybe she's the girl on Xbox. Omrecker also published two unmonetized interviews of the two girls who claimed to be the victims of Delirious. In the first interview, Sai talked about her relationship with Delirious and his behavior in the ongoing drama. Sai revealed that before she went to Omrecker to share her story, she emailed Delirious asking for an apology for the things he did to her as a minor. Delirious did not apologise. Instead, he spoofed her email, changed one number and sent a new replica of Sai's email to Ohm and a few others to discredit her account on Ohm. Omreka almost fell for this, but Sai presented evidence of her identity and messages that she shared with Delirious proving who she was. After this interview, Delirious attempted to discredit her by claiming she was mentally unstable and that she was a part of a doxer and hacker group that had been arrested. The second interview focused on a victim who goes by the name Sarah. In Sarah's interview, she talked more in depth about her relationship with Delirious and she touches on a situation situation where her child had been threatened to be kidnapped by an account that was heavily suspected to be Delirious. Delirious did not comment on this interview. I am led to believe that Delirious was the person that actually sent these threats, which in my opinion really shows his true character. After my previous video on this situation, it kind of just proves to me that people are not ready to hear both sides of the drama. I got a comment from a lad saying I have no point because I replied to a hate comment with lol. Okay mate, let's see what kind of videos you make. Yeah. 
could kill. Another thing that irritates me with Omewrecker as a person is the fact that he never places his side in any situation. So people always side with H2O Delirious because a lot of the time it's just Omewrecker backing down from a situation. Where in actuality, when you look at the situation and go dive deep into it, Delirious is a really sketchy motherfucker. However, it doesn't take back all the questionable stuff that he has done himself. I'd appreciate it if you did enjoy watching this video make sure to become a member on the channel. And a super thanks is appreciated but not expected. I know just me saying that really irritates some of you. I've been Wacky TV and until next time, Omewrecker is guilty! Thank <laughs> you.